Good morning and Happy New Year! Woo! <laughs> From uh, Irreverent Knits, I am Tracy, uh, the owner of Low Country Shrimp and Knits. And with me is Judy, owner of Maggie Loves Yarn and Dyer Extraordinaire. Just look at my fingertips. Yeah, she, is. she looks cold, but I it's really... I did turquoise yesterday. Yes. And... She's not freezing, no. sort of. Well, she kind of is a little... It's a little chilly here. It is a little chilly. It's a little chilly here, but, okay. uh, but uh, New Year's. New Year's off to, a, off to a good start. I think accidentally I took... Uh, two doses of my anxiety meds this morning. So I'm like, whoa, all my life choices are so good. Oh, this is great. I'm so glad I did all these things that I've done. So I think you should start like five more projects. Today. I would love to do this. I love this. So cast on Ida. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that's good. So I, I didn't really make any resolutions other than I'm trying to cut back on, I'm trying to get rid of Splenda because I, I love iced coffee, as you know. So now I'm, I'm choosing sad choices, green tea. Yeah. Well, I drink peppermint tea every morning. Peppermint tea is, go is good. No, and I shouldn't have done that this morning before my coffee because I'll have to leave halfway through the thing to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Usually on Friday mornings I don't drink any tea because it's like drink tea and iced coffee. Uh -huh, I'll spend a lot the entire morning in the bathroom. Hydration. I forgot and drank my, I hydration. my tea this morning. Yes. Oh, no. Yes, so that's... So just a you know, we're not fueled on, we're fueled on too much tea today. Yeah, if she escapes, I'll just keep it going. A little, little dance action or something. Um, yeah, yeah so, flush. Pay no mind. so two weeks, we were really kind of gone for two weeks. So let's think what, um, I went away. Do you, the, the shop is still here. So the we keggers, so much fun. The keggers, she people threw. from Connecticut, Alabama, uh, Baltimore. She came in and bought all kinds of stuff to, for the drive home. Excellent. Baltimore. Excellent. So and lots of people from Alabama gave me some ideas because I'm going there, you know, from Birmingham. That's right. Yeah, That's right. I met a lot of people. I probably met more people than you did. Yeah, probably because I was just uh, in, a, in a car and wandering. Car ride that long. How is that? So we broke it up. We had wedding to go to on New Year's Eve in Buffalo. So I know you've seen Buffalo in the news. <laughs> so we're driving right into the abyss. And everyone's like, don't go. You shouldn't go. I'm like, no, I'm going. It's my best friend's youngest daughter who's my baby. I'm like, I am going to this no, wedding. Had to. I had, had to go to this wedding. And so we had, so the, the week was crazy anyway. So Christmas Eve, I ran a 10K and it was 20 degrees out here in Hilton Head. So we expect that up I sat under my electric blanket and cheered her she on. She did. I could hear her like, oh, In my pajamas. Yeah, at go, home. Go, go, go. I'm oh, so old. Oh, look at her. Like The guy behind me literally had frozen ice crystals oh. on his beard. On his beard from breathing. So you got back and it was the weirdest cold because I I don't like I don't like to be hot when I run I like just you know kind of being almost too cold instead of too hot so I had just a, a you know a, a tank top layer and then a top layer but it was a thicker one um, but I didn't wear like a, a you know a, a turtle fur or anything that some people had I had a hat on and I had my mittens but I chose gloves because that's all I had and of course, my fingers were cold. That was the only thing that. You could have knitted you up one. Why didn't you? Quick. Well, you were sitting in bed. You're just sitting around doing nothing. Yeah. When I could have used you. You used my Latvian one. But those are fingerless. No, I need they're not. The, the t well, they're not here. My Latvian I would have stolen them. My dancing, my dancing dragonfly. Well, what the heck? But if you had lost one, I would have been really, really upset. Yeah, I don't. The friendship would have been on the line. That, we, that, that would. Uh, that was it. One, one dragon flying, and I'm out. Okay, yeah. that's. I see how tenuous it is at best. So, uh, so anyways, yes, that was cold. But um, and it was the first time I had run um, over the bridge in in um, on Hilton Head. So I'm getting ready. It's over water. Yeah, and it was breezy. So and then it was a 5K, and then the 10K kind of we went around. And I'm getting back, and these people are like. Walking my 5K, and they just seemed to in my way the whole time. <laughs> so How I many like, went off the bridge? I, I uh, well, we, we're not going to talk about that. Okay. So yeah, no, but um, did well on that race. That was exciting for me, and um, because people go, oh, that's not that cold. It is when you're on water. No, it's it's, it's cold. cold. It was that cold. That breeze off the water. Yeah, it was cold. Is numbing it was cold and then it took me well i've got this weird thing since covid covid has ruined my nose and so i now sneeze after a race so or anytime i work out really hard so i spent the rest of the day warming up and sneezing it was a good combination as you can imagine so that was my christmas eve and then christmas day literally i was on the couch like okay i don't know there's some food somewhere if you're hungry so my question was when you travel with the girls how are the girls 
My girls are, they're great. So we had <laughs> day trips. Hey, boys. They fought the whole time. <laughs> they, they had a few moments. They had a few moments of being together too much. But we planned it so that instead of just driving straight the 14 or 15 hours to Buffalo from here in, uh, Buff in South Carolina, we started off, we went to Asheville first, and then we went to see the Biltmore all gorgeous, done up for Christmas. So that was our first night. The second night, we drove another five hours, and we ended up in Nashville. So, again, kind of this way. And Nashville... In other words... Don't ask her to be your travel agency if you have, ask to get if somewhere you have fast. kids, though, because <laughs> they got along. So yeah. they didn't love Nashville so much because it's all like bars and honky tonks yeah. and music. And you know, they're just like, what are we doing? We're sitting in another bar. I'm like, this is a honky tonk. Should have gone not to the Graceland Hotel because inside they have gondolas and you ride them all through the hotel. Oh, it's next so time. Cool. Next time. We'll do that. The last day, the last day we were driving up, we just stopped in Columbus. And I have to say, that was the only day that we had bad travel and it was all of Ohio, all of Ohio. I'm like, Ohio, go home. Why are you out on the road? We all are. We're what? down here. What? Well, go. Don't don't come here either. Stay where you were in your houses up in Ohio. Hey, <laughs> you would never have met me. I know. I love my Judy from See, Ohio. She me. I can tease you. It's only it's only it's a little love. I just go it's home and cry. Yeah, yeah. She, but yeah. I introduced you to Easton. Yes. So Easton we stayed is there. The coolest coolest it's the prototype for all outdoor malls now so yeah. we yeah we stayed right across from it and so that was fun and um and then we drove to buffalo and uh you know the weather gods were were shining upon me because it was 40 which means that it wasn't super cold the snow had mostly melted there were big piles on the side of the road and still so you know how when it gets so high with the snow it kind of takes its way into the, the the right lane of the roads so it was kind of one lane or you had to really dodge so um but the trip was it was uneventful in that it you know we, we had a great time there was no issues the kids got along 90 percent of the time um you know and then the wedding was gorgeous and just it was it was perfect we even saw niagara falls that was the coldest because it was cold out and then just the breeze from the falls we were like okay everyone see the falls okay we're good <laughs> so so that was that was my escapade how about yours anything other than running the shop and living the dream buying everything you had in here uh, like come in sit down and go oh i need needles so i go <laughs> every day she's like i just bought this i'm like okay thank you i guess but i got it i'm taking I this i bought gift. myself a birthday present i know that's so... a great gift but tell them why you bought yourself that birthday because i bled on it no no i'd already <laughs> bought it and then i bled on it I was here and I was looking. No, I was going to buy it anyways, but um, I'd already played with it enough that it was mine. Oh, shoot. What line am I on? I think I'm on 12. Um, so we have these boards. So it's called I, Maker's Boards oh, by, Coco by Coco Nets. They're great. And so here, it's, it's all magnetic. Blood. So I, I might have to show them the blood. But so it's all magnetic. So you can set it up in different ways and you can set it up like, you know, if you're working this way or this way. And it's just lovely, and these this ruler goes along, you know, it's magnetic, and it goes along, and the stitch markers stick to it, too. I it's, like it because it's flat, because I have one of those metal ones that, you know, they hook in, and yeah. find a, like an iPad stand, yeah. that I use, because I, I could use these, because I bought those earlier, yeah. but it was like, this is flat, and I can take it with me. Mm -hmm. I don't take the other with me, because well, of it. And you know what, so I like I'm, to see flat better than upright, anyway, when I'm working on a pattern. So I reached in my bag to get something, and I got this out, and I'm looking, and all of a sudden I went, Oh my God, there's blood. <laughs> and there was like blood on this. And all I did was a tiny little slit, like right here. Right. It bled for, I think, two hours. Oh my God. I know. The thin so skin gonna, on your hands, your face, they bleed like crazy. No, but it was like it was on my jeans. It was on this. It was, you know. She's blood like, don't think she came home to a murder scene. It's it's okay. I'm like, yeah, okay. I just did an outline. <laughs> <laughs> I did a table. chalk outline. I'm like, I'm going to have to wash this, I think. Uh, oh my know. God. You need to carry band aids. I have yeah. them. They're just hidden in that box. Oh, I know. What's I should have warned you. I'm I wouldn't sorry. Go through it. That's I, yeah. okay. I went through enough of your stuff. I know enough about you now. I, I, yeah. I should never run. You know what? I could become Speaker of the House at this point. <laughs> but I know enough to be dangerous now. Yeah. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah, I had a good Bring time. it on. There Bring were a lot of people that came in. I was never alone. Somebody, uh, Lynn came in one day and knitted with me. And we had a blast. We had a good time. I knitted every day. I came home. I was like, oh, this was fun today. I made money for you every day. I appreciate that. Keeping the lights on. It was my stuff by, but other than that, no. Keep it, keeping the lights on. I so know, I did. Well, and I got, days. it was great, too, because I got, like, five solid hours each day in the car of knitting. 
So I was able to get through a lot of my projects. So the first one I started on, if, if you remember from some of the earlier ones, I had done just the collar of this sweater. It's called Timber. I'll show you the book in a minute. And then I realized that I had flipped a couple of, of the twisted stitches uh, not in the right direction. And so I had to rip the whole thing out. So when I was on this trip, it is, it's a lot of counting, as you can see from all the stitch markers down here. And it's a lot of remembering, make one left, make one right. Um, now you're going to do the twisted rib. Now you're just doing regular stockinette. Um, so that's the progress that I got. I got to the point now where I needed to separate onto sleeves. So that's, that's where I am. I am using the fiber company. Okay. This, uh, this yarn specifically is Cumbria and the pa the color is called Fair Hill. Fair it's Hill. It's beautiful. So it's it looks really like pretty. a heather. Yeah. It's and, this and there's, you can see fairy. like, what is it? Like a dark red kind of? There's kind of a, like an, all, like a burgundy yeah. and like a bluish color it's gorgeous. and gray. Absolutely. It's, it's the perfect yarn for that sweater. It really, it really is, is beautiful. And so once again, this uh, is called Timber. And so it's the Timber cardigan here is this and it's from the book Within. So if this is something you're interested in knitting along with me this is going to be as soon as I separate for sleeves where I go and then it'll I had a class it'll, it'll eventually be, be a, a great, class it's a great grab the cardigan mm -hmm. to run to the store in or whatever yep. it yep. really is it's got enough thickness it will keep I you warm it. but I it's not like worn. stifling here for for South Carolina so so that's where I am on this. And then, um, as I've been kind of walking you through my, you know that Pressed Flowers and I, we, we broke up for a while and then we finally, she knows what she did, but she finally apologized well, you just for had what to find she did. A, you just had to go back on and find a new lover. So I, uh, yes, she had to, it was time to go on. But I, so this is what I worked on, um, my shawl. So there's a few, so I don't wanna pull those needles out. So there's a few lessons I have learned from this. And I think it's coming along nicely. I think it's great. Yeah, it's coming along nicely. A few lessons I learned uh, with this is I really, when I teach a class, I want to follow the pattern exactly. And the reason I do that is so I can say, well, this is what I found from this, and this is what I would have done differently in hindsight. And, you know, it, it helps me teach the class better. Um, with this one, I went with a yarn that was thicker, so I went with a worsted weight yarn, and so I used Vintage. So this is Vintage the Blue, and then I went with the Caprino, which is this one here. Um, it's called Diana, and that is from Malabrigo. Um, and I wanted to go with the colors as opposed to trying to stick to the weight that the pattern suggested. Um, so in hindsight, I would have used bigger needles because it's a very tight knit and I'm kind of a tight knitter as it is. Mine, it's very loose. Yep. Yeah, so here, can I just, uh, yeah, it's just going to drape. Probably not because it's so tight. So we this is, on the wall this the is well, it's going to, it'll end up being here. And it'll this be, is Judy's. You know what? When you soak it and put a lot of conditioner in, it'll yeah. soften it up. So this is mine. That's and it's, Judy's. This is a fingering, and I think it said DK in it, didn't it? Yeah. And I used a fingering. And yep. I dyed the yarn, because those were the colors I wanted, yep. and I wanted it in fingering. So. Yeah. So she can do that. I don't have that magic ability. So but she can call me because, like, you know, she can order anything. I can die. <laughs> so, so this is, in fact, this is the first class that Judy taught here, and the first class I took with Judy was for this. So, and I, I'm liking the pattern. And once you get familiar with what you're supposed to look for, the hardest one is when you're starting a new section because then you just have to. It's all counting and it's all making sure that everything lines up. But other than that, it is a fun, uh, nice knit. I have a few places, but galloping horse rule. We're just gonna pretend like they don't exist and i if you noticed i had mine with a shawl cup yes cup. and um, we're going to learn how to make one at our oxford festival but my my son who's god my baby is 35 he is um he does a lot of reenacting and stuff and he started a leather working business so he and i were talking the other day and i went hey can you do shawl cups he goes i don't know I said, what are they? And I said, look on Etsy. And he goes, like these? And I went, yeah. He goes, yeah, I can do them. I can dye them any color, whatever. So he's going to make some up Sweet. and send them to Tracy. All right. So we might be carrying really unique shawl cups. cups That's that you won't find anywhere. I love them because it's it's so much better than a pin. A pin slides out constantly. I put this on, and I don't have to mess with it anymore. I'm just trying to wave, and I'm failing because, you know, my IT. I'm so go. savvy. Just Sorry, Denise, out. I tried to wave, but I'm so savvy. In my, thank you. My savviness in IT the is overwhelming. 
So, um, so that is where I am on my projects, and I didn't pick anything else up because I really just kind of want to finish these two, and because I get in a habit of like, oh, I'm going to start this, and, I'm start, and then I've got 25 projects, and none of them are close to completion. So yeah, I'm trying not to do that. I know. That's Such how, a rookie. That's how I work. That's how I roll. So is that what you're taking to Oxford? I think, I think so. I want to try to finish um, pressed flowers. I think I want to do just finish this one chunk and you then reverse. You should finish it in time to, to wear. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. You know, I don't have anything else going on except for two other jobs, but that's fine. I'll get right on that. Oh, piece of cake. <laughs> so, you make those comments I to me. I just start. All I know. That's what I do. Yeah, I gotta start the semester up uh, in what, a week and a half. When we're at Oxford is the beginning of my semester, so I gotta get all the the class prepared for my new students coming in. All right. So show where you are on your project. So you've been working on this sea monster. Yeah, I you know, and it it looks more he looks more Aztec y I think than a sea monster. He looks like an Aztec with guns. He, <laughs> he's a he's a, he's a Gun gangsta, token gangsta, gangsta. Aztec <laughs> Inca. Inca 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 gangsta. He's a Peruvian gangsta. <laughs> Doesn't it look? <laughs> Well, now I'm never going to unsee that. So, of course, that's what it is. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> but, but, but because I doubled the stitches. Because I'm using, I'm, I'm doing DK yep. instead of bulky. Yep. Because I never wear bulky here. And so I, I we oh, talked so about it. Too. We decided we wanted it larger. That We wanted to design the same um, size. So <laughs> we... <laughs> and... Um, so I doubled the stitches. Instead of one, I did two going across, and it worked. And then I got done. I was like, oh, I don't know. It just looks so bizarre. But then I started adding the solid, and I like it. Yeah. It's just different. Yeah. It's just different. And they can ask, and I go, oh, this is my Mayan. Yeah, gangsta. My gangsta Mayan. <laughs> Let me tell you about gangsta He's part Mayan. of the Sinaloa cartel. So I'm working on that, and now I'm at the boring part. i got to get to 12 inches, and I'm at nine. So it's all stuck in it now? Till I yeah till to here okay. and then I take it all down to my length and then I add the dark yes color on yep the other color and it's more of a scroll yeah. work cool and then I, when I add the sleeves so that'll I be hieroglyph your hieroglyphics yeah, yeah. <laughs> man <huddle. laughs> uh, my, when my son was in sixth grade fifth grade sixth grade we went to the uh, the 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 parent teacher conferences and of course they went to the same school where I taught so I knew all the teachers I was you know friends with them and they would they would just screw with me and they'd go make sure we did hieroglyphics and we talked about cavemen and stuff make sure you read your sons I'm like <laughs> so I went out and it was in the hallway where everybody sure could read, read it and all that's always warning ones. number one oh you she should see that giggles well that's like she made him student of the week with in the fall and uh, my son, my husband worked at Denison University. Of course, I was a teacher. Our favorite place to go for dessert and evenings and sometimes dinner was Rack's Roast Beef because they had the best salad bar. They had uh, great milkshakes and stuff. So my son had written, he was student of the week and had written in his autobiography this nice thing about him. And at the end he goes, my mother is a teacher. My father works at Denison University. When I grow up, I want to work at Rack's. <laughs> So, so we go out in the hallway, and there's all these hieroglyphics, and and Chris just looks okay. And I wrote, how was it? Man hunt bear, woman hunt man. I went, oh really? Oh, mm, seriously? Mm, mm -hmm, seriously? Mm -hmm. You know, well, he's dragging him by the hair. Yeah. I don't know. So, we slept so, yeah, the it's, it's going to be the hieroglyphics. It's going to be the racks hieroglyphics. <laughs> Homage, homage to Christopher Kirby. <laughs> right here. So I knew that. So it's like, here, this is straight. It's boring. So I went to the next one that I wanted to do in the book. So, and this one is, we just got this in. So this is a new right. fiber company to Lore. us. Lore. And so she, we both went, oh, these colors, when we saw them together, um, it is nice. It is kind of a th thicker, more coarse feeling. To me, it is a little coarser than the the bush, the bush, B bish and bush, bish and bush. Bish and bush. Bish and bush. Um, it, you know, it certainly know. Know. is lightening, up, softening up with it is, and with I think work. it will. And I've got to find. I'm just gonna share this. Yeah, I'm, I'm just looking to see where I can find. So here is the work. color work as it's going from the color work queen we have herself. About that, it's doing something else. The too. color work queen herself. So these are. It's lovely. We're starting our color one. work series soon here at Low Country Shrimp and Knits. This is the one. 
right here. And I'm doing it in the blues and the tans. Okay. And guess what? What? This is knitted in the round. And then you steak it. Oh, God. Steaking. No, Steaking. <gasps> actually, we're going to teach a class on steaking. We're going to do a, a, a mug cozy, so it's only this big. All right. All right. Well, let me tell so you what steaking, you do. Here's the deal. Steaking, okay? You spend all this time. You're like, I'm going to look at all this. Oh, well, let me fix this. Oh, I'm going to pull it. Oh, la, la. You get to the end, and you're like, no, I'm going to use scissors and cut it. And like, ah! So... <laughs> It's beautiful that way, I'm though. Sure it's, it's so gorgeous. much easier. I'm sure it's gorgeous, so, but it's scary. Anyways, me. this one, this is kind of different. They've started doing this because I've done sticking in the past, and there are a lot of patterns that say you just add like four rows in between. Okay. That's all you do. Okay. You put four rows in between. So you're not cutting your knitting, you're getting rid of this crap in between. Like this is time. not part of the, the pattern. Okay. So if you sew up the sides here, and you can do it by hand, you can do it by machine, you can do crochet. Those stitches aren't going anywhere. But then what do you do with all the excess crap? Well, you cut it, and then when you go to pick up your stitches, this is going to fold back. And a lot of people put, like, a uh, little piece of ribbon up around the the the, um, part. the 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 band. Okay. But see, that folds back, so that gives it weight there. And then, actually, you could, un you could unravel it to where the stitching is. It's not going to go anywhere. Yeah. And then you, and then you. I'm gonna watch you stitches. do it. How about that? Okay. When, we, when you get at that um, point, we'll do it on so the show. So, anyways, the last two patterns I've had said you put you purl in between, okay. which I thought was really interesting. But that makes it easier. See, because I'm gonna stitch right up through here, okay, and right up through here, and, like, and then I'm gonna cut up through the middle, okay. And actually, with this being 100% wool, a lot of Norwegians when they use 100% wool don't even um, use. Uh, or, uh, you know, they don't even sew a, a, a stitch to hold it because technically... They're brave because they're brave. No, because wool, if you're using true wool like this yeah. and like a bush, it's sticky enough that it'll hold itself and you cut it. But I don't trust that. <laughs> so I would cut it. So anyways, you had to do the band first and it's rolling, it, but it's part of the, the pattern and I kind of like that. Yeah. And then you were supposed to join it and they always say, if you stitch a few rows first and then you join it, you never, ever ever twist it. I don't know why. It's because I twisted it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I was like three rows up and I'm like, do I really want to take this out? And I realized, you know, that little trick that you can unroll it. Yeah. So I never got works it. for me. That never works for it, me. It did and it didn't because yep. I think I had done so many rows. Yeah. But I got it to where it was where the, the sticking part is. And I'm like, that's going to get cut anyway. So I got it there. All right. And I gave it a little kiss and I went on and I'm fine. Okay. All right. So, see, there is a see. Uh, stick there we go. So we are now we don't mind steaking. cutting it. Steaking is not really, and 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 I and I learned not to fear it. When uh, years ago, I had a knitting machine, and you know you could bang out a sweater in three hours, on that. But I had this book that was so cool that explained the easiest way to do it is to do it like commercial fashion. You know, not the hand-knitted sweaters that you spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars on, yeah. but the ones that are done, that are knitted, you know, commercially, and there's a hundred of them, and, and, and what you do is, you gotta have good measurements. Right. Take really, really good measurements. Then you knit a rectangle, and you could do this without a machine. Knit a rectangle for your front, knit a rectangle for your back, knit two, I mean squares, or whatever, then two rectangles, for your sleeves. Okay. Okay. Then you'd lay it out, you block it, you lay it out, you draw your measurements, you know, where you are for the sleeves, where you want your neck to go, um, and, and, you know, your shape. Mm -hmm. Stitch it. So I would take my sewing machine and stitch my armhole. I would cut it, and then I would add my sleeves in and mm -hmm. sew them in. And you could do it by machine. You could do it by hand. I did it by machine at first. I don't like it by machine. I, I feel better now. Doing it. And you had a perfectly fitted sweater. Hmm. Perfectly fit. Fit perfect every time. So I'm not afraid to do it this way because right. I've done it that way. Right. And I've steaked some bags and all. And so, yeah, we're ready. We're right. going to do it. All right. That's my that's my goal this year. We'll have to. And we're going to teach steaking. We are going to teach and, that. And you're not allowed to scream when you do it. I can't make that promise. Cut, <laughs> cut, cut, cut. You know, like drink, drink, drink. Cut, 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 cut. cut. So, so um, we have, uh, we're going to teach you today. Judy spent uh, with her New Year's uh, hope goal 
Resolution. Not a resolution. It's not a resolution. Yeah, it was. I resolved is... to do this. Okay. Right. <laughs> it was a resolution, but she wanted to learn the Chinese waitress cast on because she loved the name. So it I is. I do. Yeah. And I learned some things about it. Mm -hmm. So tell us about the, the well, stretchy cast on. Well, the Chinese waitress cast on is I read more on it. And actually, this will be a two-parter because I did not learn how to do it in the round. I only learned how to do it back and forth. Fair enough. Um, is considered extremely um, stretchy. Okay. So it's a great one for like the brim of a hat if you don't really want to do um, a lot of ribbing. Okay. It's uh, a great one. Same thing. It, it makes a very pretty edge stitch. And I started watching it on YouTube and I went, okay, this is not as hard as I thought it would be. It's extremely stretchy. Everyone that was showing it though was showing that they were saying, Oh, this is great if you're doing a garter, then back and forth, it just looks beautiful. And I'm like, oh, well, what if you don't want to do garter? Right. What if you want to just knit? Right. So I found a video, and the woman was great at it, that showed how to do it. And so I'm not proficient at it, but enough that, um, yeah, I would probably use it for an extremely stretchy. And it is pretty. So we're going to learn how to yep, do it? let's do it. Okay, okay watch this masterful eye. It's going to be over my shoulder. Hammering you skills. You can admire my pressed flowers. Okay, so you start with the slip knot. You're probably going to have to, let me turn. Yeah, you, let you, me turn your, my you back. can see yourself. I'm going to so turn then. my back. You don't want to see me. <clears throat> Look at my back. Okay. Start with your slip knot. And you put it on your left needle. Now, if you have to cast on 25 stitches, this slip knot does not count. You take that off afterwards. So that's what you do, okay? So your slip knot's on there. Put it in your left hand, get it out of the way, and you have your right hand, your working yarn over here. Tighten it up against your left hand needle. Your right hand, your right needle makes a cross behind the left, just like this. Oops, I'm down too low. Okay, so there's your slip knot. You don't use it right here. You're going over the left, under the right. We'll do that again. Over the left, under the right, and around, just like a wrap. Then you pull this through. Now, here was the interesting thing. This one that I watched said a lot of people don't tell you this part, and you need to know this part. You have to untwist it and put it back on your needle. And as she says, you get faster out as you go. So you untwist it, put your right-hand needle behind the left again, Tighten it up and don't make it too tight because otherwise it's hard to get it through. Go over your left, under your right, pull it through. And this is a little tricky for me because my hands are still learning. And you come up with it. Then you untwist it. I shouldn't have brought this splitty yarn. I thought green you could see it better. Untwist it, put it in, tighten it up. One more time, over, under, and around, and you pull it through. Now, I have found, and I'm not going to get at that one. Oh, well. I have found that I knit, I mean, I cast on kind of loose. She can do a really, let me do one more so you can see it. Let me untwist it. Put it in. Tighten it up. Okay. So, whoops, over, under, Around and through. What, what commercial was that? I don't know. I don't know. There it is. And untwist it. Okay, so I'm just going to put that on there for right now so you can see it. Um, it makes a very, very pretty cast on, if you can see it right there. Very pretty. Now, hers is really tied up against it. And I don't feel like mine is tied up against it like it should be. So I might, my first row, knit through the back loop just to tighten it up. But it's kind of cool. It is very stretchy. And you just remember you don't count this one. And and then it makes a really pretty decorative edge. All you right. You see it. That's fun. So we're going to do more of those. I really like the Chinese waitress cast on. It only took me one day to learn it and three to go back and keep every day going, well, what was it I do? <laughs> yeah. can, you, can you remember how to do this? No, That's cool. It's know. really cool. Try it. Try it. Yeah. And I, I can't remember the lady that, that does it on YouTube, but she uses pink yarn. I do know that. Okay. 
we'll have to check that I out. I liked it. I liked it that it was very stretchy and it was different. Yeah, I think, well, I like it's pretty the way it, uh, the bottom kind of looks like a yeah, pretty fancy it's braid. Pretty. Well, I like that it's stretchy because sometimes you get it, especially in beginners. Yeah. Well, it's something that I, I don't think I'd want to do that cast on for like a giant blanket. Oh, I wouldn't do 300. Yeah, well, right. I'd probably. <laughs> Once you get faster at it, maybe, but. Yeah, I got faster within like five or 10 minutes. Okay. I got faster. Okay. But I was nervous. I get stage fright. So oh, I, oh, it's okay. It's all right. We <laughs> forgive you. So, um, yeah, so we are going to be working on these projects. And if this is something that you want to knit along with us, so we have a, you know, kind of myriad of projects going on here, um, let me know and I will give you a discount on the yarn for the projects. So reach out to me at shrimpandknits.com and I'll be happy to help you uh, get started on this project. And we decided we're going to start a new summer series. Mm -hmm. We are going to now do a Bluffton. Um, stocking so that way for the holidays you have time to you know go through pick pick a style that you like we're, it's we're designing every July. it's gonna be a shrimp and knits yeah, summer signature Christmas in July so this is going to be um, the one this is the one that we worked on the blue heron for Christmas blue heron stocking and um, I haven't gotten anywhere on it because I'm trying to get these other things worked on but this one is absolutely absolutely beautiful so we'll be happy to kind of work with you on that one yeah and we're gonna and so I spent a lot of time on Pinterest and everywhere else looking up charts of boats and flamingos and crabs and palm trees and buoys mm -hmm. that's what I was trying to do yesterday I think it's not gonna work no yeah, I think so. I just have to play with it a little bit more. I would love to do that one first. So Judy has decided she's going to design it. Now, I don't have that in my brain. It's way too much math. I think I'm going to design it. Judy we'll thinks soon. she's going to design this. And I'm like, yay, Judy, go, 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 go. And um, this will be my prototype. All of them will be this size. <laughs> I hope because you like it. This is the only one. <laughs> This is the only one I know how to do. So I, she can't, I see her yesterday uh, for our open knit that we have here. And she walks and she goes, well, I, I had a headache from this, from this project. I'm stitch fiddle. I broke stitch fiddle. I'm like, you broke stitch fiddle. I think I broke the internet with it today. She broke the internet. Well, no, stitch fiddle is a, a program that you can use to um, take a picture or your drawing and make it into a chart. Okay. okay. Which which everybody says, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I kind of looked at it and I kind of played around and then everybody said, well, they have a Facebook page. So I went to the Facebook page and I said, is there like a, a manual or a set of instructions I can download right. and figure this out? Because I'm having trouble with the colors. It says choose colors and I won't choose the colors and, and, and it doesn't explain to me how I make the grid and and so, um, and I'm not good at playing around on no, it. No, I'm terrible. It out. I you need know, somebody I, to show me through it. that. Yeah. So, <laughs> so um, someone got, and so then I thought, well, you can buy the thing for a year or buy monthly, five bucks. I said, well, let's just do a month. Let's right. See. I'm still having trouble. So I went on, I joined the Facebook page, and I said, so I asked them. And somebody got on, no, it's really user friendly. You just have to play around the administration, the administrator. And I went, oh, oh, okay, whatever. And this other woman came on and said, it's not user friendly at all. <laughs> it, we really, a, a user manual would be really, really helpful. And apparently it irritated the administrator because oh, she went off on this big, huge thing. And the other one said, well, apparently you're, you must own this because you're a little, irritated a little oh. said, it's not mine and this is it's like oh, i'm really sorry oops so, my bad so wrong site wrong number <laughs> so i get on facebook and this other person gets on from there and goes i agree with judy oh no it is oh, not no. user friendly <laughs> So I got there. I really did mean to create a firestorm. <laughs> My I dad. I just My dad. asked the question. If there was a manual, I so didn't. So now there's this huge fight on Facebook. I caused it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. It's like, I'm really sorry about, I, you know, it's like I just wanted to. <laughs> so I'll get on and I'll play some more. Well, that is. Someone's at the door. I'll go. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, so anyway, we've got people at the door. This is exciting, exciting times. So um, we got some new yarn in. So um, I have 
I've been looking for a variegated organic cotton, but I wanted to implement something that's, you know, from the United States, something that is local and something that's from a small business. So um, we have added what is the, the company is called Great Adirondack Yarn Company, Great Adirondack Yarn Company. And this group is called Well Dressed Sheep. So this is the new color, 100% organic, made in the United States. I believe it is Vermont, but don't quote me on that. Um, so this is one of the new colors. This one's called Black Fire. And this one is another one. It's called uh, Confetti. So we've got all these really bright pops of color. I got this one, which is something like Latte. Oh, Irish cream. This one's Irish cream. So really pretty, you know, kind of neutral colors in this one. And then these two, the samples that I was looking at looked quite distinct. They aren't quite as distinct in the in the dye lot that I received. Um, so one of these, this one is called Nantucket Blue. And as I grew up in Rhode Island, Nantucket's a place that I love. So Nantucket Blue. That's gorgeous. And then there's this one, which is called Hydrangea, which I also love hydrangeas. I had the most gorgeous hydrangeas when I lived in New Jersey. Um, so this one's got a little bit more greens in it than the Nantucket, but not so super different. I wouldn't have, you know, in hindsight, I, I, I shouldn't have done yeah, the two. Yeah, but, but I don't know. This one, I don't know. This one's hydrangea. Yeah. Do you know, on, on Martha's Vineyard, it must be the perfect soil, whatever. Hydrangeas grow like weeds. Oh, they're and amazing. And they're just so oh, yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. You can change the color of I know, but hydrangeas. putting acid in the soil, yeah. whatever. Yeah, it makes it, the, the acidity changes. Because I think changes. the blue ones are super. Oh, pretty. they're beautiful. They're just beautiful. Uh, yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. The more I've played with it, it's like, oh, it's not too bad. Yeah, no, it's it's uh, it's going to be good. And so, you know, people, I have a group of people that love to make dishcloths. So this is something that will be excellent for that and being 100% Cotton, uh, organic cotton, this will be something that's nice for the environment and all that happiness. Um, but because of the colors are so bright in them, you may want to um, use salt when you block them. So that will help them so that they Turquoise don't especially. Yeah. I dyed stuff with turquoise yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I, the heat, I may still have to wet it down and zap it back again in the microwave. And it's still bleeding a little bit. Turquoise, when you're doing dyeing, um, when you know that it, when the when the yarn is taken, all the dye it's going to take, they call it the, the the dye is exhausted. In other words, your water should run clear. And I bathed that baby. It's so beautiful. What I did yesterday. Oh, I can't wait. And um, I bathed it and bathed it and bathed it, and it's still a tinge of turquoise. I don't think it would bleed onto your other stuff. And I don't think it would rub off on your hand, but I would wash it with, that's one that I, I kind of like. Separate. Separate. <laughs> yeah, separate. separate. Hand wash it with salt. Sometimes put vinegar in, too. Mm. Well, my friend that's staying with me, she does long um, pine needle baskets, and they're gorgeous. And so last year we played with dyes because she wanted to dye some, and it didn't work. Because down here is about the only place you can get them. Right. So we do a run one day. We had both dogs in the car, and we did a run. And she got behind the government building and people wondered what we were doing and she ran over there and she's filling bags of pine needles and people are like what the hell is that woman doing and i'm like i'm just sitting here. i i don't know her so then, i just dropped so her then off she has to soak them in glycerin. and she does beautiful baskets but she wanted to dye them so we've been playing and then we looked online my acid fast won't work okay we tried that last year so the the rit pro line okay. works and leather dyes work, but we can't find leather dyes until I talk to my son. Right, of course. Because in Memphis, right. they sell it for the leather work, so he's going to get some for her. So Very she's cool. been doing the, the pro line, and she didn't know how much to get. And she goes, oh, my, you know, God, a five-pound bag is 15 bucks. I said, so she was going to get a bunch of little one-pounds. And I said, don't do that. Get a five-pound bag of the red, blue, and yellow. Right. And then you can mix the colors. Right, to me. She's like, Other colors. oh, yeah. Right. So <laughs> yesterday she was doing something. And they, they are coming out really pretty. She did a like a curry color that's so gorgeous. But um, she was trying to get a, a green or something. And I told her that sometimes in... Um, it, it, when you add the vinegar can make all the difference in a dye. If you add it, if you plop it down in and it's already there, it can make your dye do some things. And sometimes it can cause the dye to break apart. Oh. So in other words, when it breaks apart, it comes out with all the colors it did to make that color. Oh. And it can be 
gorgeous. I mean, Interesting. absolutely gorgeous. Interesting. So she did some yesterday, and she goes, you know that one I just threw in a little bit of green, the, your vinegar? She goes, I said, yeah. She goes, it came out all different shades of green. There's olive. Pretty. And I said, oh, I didn't see it before I left today. And I said, I want to see it. She goes, yeah, it came out really cool. And she was able to get turquoise, you know, and, and just from talking, I'm going, you're adding too much. Get it down. Right. You know, get it down, try this, try that. And she's starting to have Oh, it's success. really... See, if it's they really, just taught really chemistry cool. like this, I think we would have been I much more engaged. Chemistry. My chemistry teacher asked me not to take it. <laughs> he, 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 in high school, he strongly suggested I take biology too. And it's like, you teach biology too also. And he goes, yeah, I know, but I can handle you in biology. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I'm like, okay, yeah. no problem. So yeah, they I just that. went into the little closet where you're supposed to watch the little films. And yeah. My friend and I sat in there and gossiped every day anyway, so. You okay. Know. <laughs> Since you're watching a lot of films, I am. I am. You know how much I'm learning, though? It's so much. <laughs> yeah, I'm learning for the big game this week. <laughs> I had the craziest day the other day here. So I we drove back. We had planned on coming back Monday, but then decided, you know what? It's I don't want to be exhausted. My husband's like, let's just break the the drive up. Once we hit North Carolina, we'll we'll stop, and then we'll finish the rest. So I literally was like running. I'm like, Judy, can you just open the shop? I'll get there as soon as I can. So we got out of the car, I threw everything out, and then I drove here. So I've been like, Wah! and so Wednesday was going to be my like, okay, wrap my brain around what you know, kind of get back into business mode, wrap my brain around the store, what I have to do, what I need to order, things like that. And I had this lovely lady who wanted a tutoring lesson because she had started this sweater. And this woman, uh, she's, she's such a sweetheart. She's so wonderful. She comes in, she's like, I'm so frustrated. She had started this sweater at this, the yarn store where she lives. And the woman was like trying to teach her. She goes, well, this is a really easy pattern. But then the woman teaching her couldn't figure out the pattern. And I'm like, what is there not to figure out? It's all just, it's all stockinette. And it's just, you know, make one every so many rows. I mean, it's a really straightforward pattern. She goes, she's an expert knitter. I'm like, she can't be an expert knitter if she can't figure out this basic pattern. But I have like, a hard time though. If it you would, take no, a dude, pattern you, no. and shove it under my face and go, where am I doing it wrong? Right. It's like, yeah, well, you need to break Back the pattern. Off. Right. But this one, the woman was like, oh, you're going to love this pattern and, and gave it to her. And it said, you know, it's an easy pattern. It's, it's really straightforward. I'm like, it's actually a well-written pattern. So anyway, so we were working through this. She, was, she we were just sitting here laughing. So then, and then I had another friend come in and trying to get the, the decreases on a hat. So I've got this going on and I got this going on. And then all of a sudden I had this woman go, oh God, okay, well, we're all here. The, it had started to downpour here and we were in the middle of tornado warnings so i was like i was like okay go to a meeting that's right oh right so i was like okay so she comes in she goes well my friend's out front can you let them in that way and i'm like okay because i share I, I i lease my space from a barber shop so i'm like okay so i go through the barber shop i let them in all of a sudden i have seven soaking wet people standing around the shop while she's looking for yarn i'm like okay hey so i wasn't here oh I my had, god it i was, had to go to a meeting it was such chaos there. it was such chaos they all start sitting around the table and now they're watching kim try to decrease she's like i can't do it it's too much pressure <laughs> She's trying to Kim, do Kim, this Kim project. Do the project. Uh, this woman's trying. Am I on a knit row? Or you know, we were. It was a. a it was a broken rib um, stitch that she was doing. So I'm trying to keep her squared away on what row she's on. This woman's. You know, talking about she bought one of your. It was rusty pipes that she oh, bought. Yeah. That she that was in that. So we're going through, and she then you know blah 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 blah. So this whole thing's going on, and so then finally that you know they decide they've they've gotten, and now I've got to go. You know let everybody back out. It's Ken. Then this guy comes in and his wife and they were wonderful. They were on, you know, on vacation and like to see all the local stores and support local business, which we always thank you so much for. And you know, he's, he's got a shirt on that says something like something about Santa. And I'm like, aha, cause he's got this really Santa like beard. And you know, he's kind of got this bold personality about it. So we're talking to him and all of a sudden he goes here, this will make you happy. He hands me and all of us here this coin. It says believe on it. And in the back it said, I met Santa. I made the nice list. So that's good to know. I'm on the nice list in case you were wondering. Hmm, proof right here. Then he goes, okay. Hey, he starts showing us like how to be 200 pictures of him in this photo shoot. Oh, that's like, what you meant when I said, have you been like, busy? What are you yeah, saying? Yeah, nobody's buying it. I'm anything. like, oh my God. It's like, 
shows us these pictures and they're gorgeous. They are gorgeous, professionally done. He's all dressed up as Santa. He's got his grandson in a bag. He's got his grandson, you know, upside down. I'm going, oh my God, like I couldn't get anything done until 3.45. When finally I'm like, oh my God, I've lived a whole life today. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, and then last night was just a comedy show. So I couldn't get anything done. So then yesterday, um, you know, it's my first time I've had five seconds to myself since the semester. So then I'm like, you know, I'm going to tackle the pantry because I'm like, oh I don't even God. know what's going on. Everyone's like, do we have this? I'm like, I don't know. It's all it's all out of my control at this point. So I went through the pantry and I started to organize that. And then, of course, I ran out of time because I'm like, oh, I could do this and I can add this. So what if I make this little mix of blah, 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 blah. And then I'm like, oh, God, I got to go. So I left because I'm ADHD cleaner, too. I don't know if anyone's also watching this as an ADHD cleaner, which which means nothing gets accomplished because you start 35 things at the same time and then you're like left with way more chaos than you started and so well, I just don't bother to clean at all okay or it's have a, a party easier. she has a party so I then, do I have a party and that's you know I've cleaned I needed to clean yep that's the impetus for those parties I gotta clean so I gotta have everyone over um, so I get I get to the shop and I'm opening up and I Judy I see Judy and I kind of scrambled to kind of open the door and everything and all of a sudden I hear Judy laughing her head head off outside i'm like what is going With on harriet. so yeah we, we've we've adopted harriet into our group she just moved here relatively recently and she's you know she's got our humor and i stick my head out i'm like what the two of them are laughing so hard so what so what happened well harriet and in, in, in harriet's a little elderly she's a little older than us and she walks with a cane yep she's so funny she drinks bourbon so <laughs> she's one of us I look, she gets out of the car, and, and there's bushes, but, you know, there's also a gravel path to the, the shop. And the gravel she's path isn't great, but it is there. She's going through the bushes, <laughs> and she's going like this, and I'm like, what the hell? And she goes, I, it's just so hard to get into this shop. And I went, Harriet, go around behind your car and use the path. And she goes, what, what? Oh, shit, <laughs> I, I just died. I was laughing so hard. <laughs> They're crying. I'm like, here, and, and Harriet's got a cane. I'm like, what are you doing walking through the she bushes? Was like, she was like Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> going through the bushes. I'm like, like, what's going on out here? It was so funny. It was, it was, it was so funny. It was great. Well, then. And she always has a problem for me to fix. She I, does, so I love her. She's making this. Uh, blanket, and I think she's like just going it's rogue. Is it, is it whatever it is? What it is whatever it is, point. it's rogue. She's got two balls of the same color going because she's going around in the thing. We fixed that last time. I said, Don't do that. Yeah, well, that's so it's making won. her confused. So this time she comes in, she's like, Ah, I don't know here. And she hands it to Judy. And now, Judy, Judy taught for 35 years. How long did she? 37? English? Yeah. 30. 30 years. And you retired with how many years under your belt? 30. 30. Okay. So this is, <laughs> this is, I mean, this is a teacher for a very long time of high school students. I, I retired 15 years ago. High school students. Okay. And I've Happy been a teacher. <laughs> right. And I've been a teacher for 16 years of all different levels of, of instruction. And so we're used to going, all right, I'm going to show you a few times and then you're on your own. Like you, you I'm not doing it for you. I'm going to teach you how to do it. The only time I don't do that is if I'm like, I can't quite wrap my brain around. I'm like, I don't know, give me that thing. And then I can, you know, usually fix whatever's going on. So every time she's like, I'm like, you know, Judy must really love you because every time you come in, you're like, here, here, I don't know what's, what I've done and here. And my reply is, oh, for well, God's sake. I don't know do what now? you've done either because it's so bad. <laughs> so the two of them are dying laughing. She's like, what? are you doing here she's like i don't i don't know what i'm doing here it's so then there was a lot of that was fixing and then then oh our, our one of our we have a woman god love her robin that comes in every month she's part of our happily knitting socks group and she was making the sock but she'd forgotten how to do the kitchener stitch so she has all these half done, like almost done All the socks, socks. done except for the toes. Yes, yeah, she's got to finish the toes. So then she comes in and she's standing around. Now my, I've got a full table full of people and I've got all and this yarn all in. great people. Oh my God. Laughing we spent the whole stuff. night laughing so hard at what was going on. And then one of my favorite people ever, Arlene, she's Our like, oh, God, I love, love her so much. She comes and she's like, I'm going to do, I think I'm going to, she didn't have a project going. I'm like, what do you, you, you come to open it, but you don't bring a project? She's like, I don't know what to do next because she loves the scarves. And I'm a big scarves fan too. 
loves the scarves. So I'm like, okay, well, let's get you to do maybe an easy mitten or something that doesn't have the, you know, any of the fingers. It just has a simple thumb to just kind of change up what you're doing. And so Judy's been like, I've got the easiest mitten. Okay. So, but Judy's easy and like normal people easy. Oh, it was one of the first things I ever did though. So. I did that within the first year of learning to knit. Not she could do it. So it's, uh, it's well, all yarn overs. It. It's all yarn overs. Oh, four. Yeah. And, and that's a lot. Oh, my God, four. It's four and 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 four. I mean, it's constant. Oh, well, it's not yeah. four in the whole thing. It's, it's like four. Pin, it sort of looks like a, a, a pin dot. <laughs> and we said, which, well, I said, Arlene, we've been knitting for almost a year. It's time to shove you off the high dive. <laughs> So I'm like, and she's like, do what? She what now? What are we doing here? So we found a pattern that wasn't yarn overs. It was just a straight stockinette and even a garter stitch. So you didn't even have to do ribbing at the bottom. But then we couldn't get. Well, then they screwed it over. Totally, totally. And then they kept wanting me to fix it. No, can, no, can you no, no, this? no, no, no. Can you explain no. this pattern? <laughs> Judy yeah. kept going, well, I don't know, because I didn't have that issue in my cupcake mitt. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know, because on my cupcake mitt pattern, it didn't do that. <laughs> so we, we pulled the whole thing apart and decided to go with, I don't know, a scarf <laughs> at the end of that one. Is that what we did? Yeah. So I that was... I, I, well, now then she started looking, so I don't know what I did here. And then um, pulled the whole thing apart, so that ended up... That's right. What is going on? I you, don't know. You just... Don't. It doesn't look right. Maybe, maybe your stitch twisted. looks twisted. Yeah. Well, no, no, that, that really does look twisted. I don't know what I did here, it, and it feels funny. Your yarn looks. But there's a row, and there's a row, so it's got to be the row. Yep. Huh. Oh. Okay. Maybe that's it. Okay. Never mind. Why are you using Carry old on. yarn? No, it's where I did a wrap. I I was um, weaving in as I went. That's oh. Why I feel oh. A little funky yeah. There. Well, you know what? That's where I'm. I'm okay. So speaking of, since you just brought it up. I did my Weave and Steven. God love him. Love that. Love, love the Weave and Steven. Love you, Steven. But I don't come visit us. love. Please come visit us. Yes. I don't love back here now as because now it just looks like this weird straight line. Sometimes it just doesn't work. So I love it on almost everything. So I didn't do it um, someplace else. And now it's going to be on the, oh, over here on the side. And now I've got to figure out how to weave it in so it stays consistent with the pattern and then doesn't become this like glaring eyesore, even though it's in the back. It's still, I mean, the back can, you know, it really has this kind of pretty pattern to it. So it's very tapestry looking. Yeah. yeah I so I don't know how to, I got to figure out how to weave this in and I'm going to be done. I mean, well, yeah, cause yours is heavier and it's hard to yeah. do it. On my, on my slip stitch blanket that was worsted, there were times I couldn't do the weave and Steven. It just made it too heavy. Yeah. Well, that's, that's what it is. It's big, kind of like a caterpillar on the back of my thing. Mm. So I'm down to this now on my Caprino and, uh, so which means I'm going to have to change yarn you know, start a new, start a new one soon. So I've got to figure out where, what I want to do with it. Is it easier on the side, you think, or in the middle? If I'm knitting in the round, it's easier in the middle. If I'm doing straight, straight across, on the, on the side. That's what I, that's what I did the last time with these. So I think I'll continue, I'll continue with that one. But, um, yeah, so that's, that's kind of what we're working on. I have, uh, what else is going on? So we have a couple cool classes coming up. Um, so I signed, I had a whole, uh, brand new, Crochet 101. And while I was gone, um, all of a sudden somebody bought all six spaces. So that was kind of exciting. Um, but then she had to change it. So then we, we did a little shifting. So we still have a, uh, we have a full class available now uh, for Crochet 101 that wasn't available just a few days ago. So if that's what, something you're looking for, you know, shrimpandknits.com under classes and events, scroll down, all that is there. The, ba the bags? So we, I know we've shown the bags before, but we do have uh, the market bag. So we have this coming up now in, in March. So this is a crochet class that we have coming up. Um, it is the market bag, but it is a good beginner class. And this is again, all cotton. So this is a nice, easy thing to do, but you can wash it. And um, you know, it's not gonna have that yuckiness that uh, bags can come with when you're using them over and over at the grocery store. Yeah, that one doesn't have, is a line, so it isn't gonna, hold in the odors. No. So, and you know, and you know, coming from the grocery store, you get a lot of like yucky things on that conveyor belt and all those types of things. So the, that class is coming up. We do have intro to color work that it's starting up soon. So that is going to be a three class series that we work on just working with different materials, making just those little houses. You've seen those little house squares. We're going to make some of those and just talking about, and then you're going to make those. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to make, um, the coffee mug, the coffee the one to mug. Steep. 
um, cozy that you're yep. going to see. So we're going to make that. So it's a couple different classes. And then we're talking about color theory. And, you know, Judy, Judy, all uh, my daughter have this. Uh, I don't, I don't, I lack it in my brain. So I just kind of go, what is, what works with this? And they go, try these. And one of them I love. And we go from there. But, um, so Judy, I, I text. Oh, I text Lena through you a lot. Oh, yes. So, uh, yeah, Lena, she and I'm like, oh, could you just text each other on the side? Oh, uh, so, uh, so that we're going to talk about color theory and kind of working with colors. And then we are going to steak. So if that's something that scares the daylights out of you like me, um, we can do join a us. coffee cozy. That cozy one. it took me maybe just a couple hours to do. And then once we're done steaking it, are we going to put buttons? How are we going to put it? Yeah, you'll cut it and put a little band on, and you put a button on it, and then you can wrap it around your coffee you cup. Fancify it. Little we'll fancifying. And now that it's getting the cooler months here in South Carolina, hopefully not as cold as that cold snap that hit the entire no, universe. I'm, I'm, but I'm ready for spring. You're, re you're ready? I'm ready for spring. That's well. We do have a little bit more time until that Well, comes. that's what I like about living in South Carolina. Usually by the end, you know, you have winter in January, and then yeah. you're done. Yep. So I hope February, that... spring. I hope February, because I've got... The, I got the half marathon, which is my now my running goal. So I have that coming up February 11th. So on that day, Judy will be having a, a big party here at the shop for me. Is that a Saturday? <laughs> yeah, it's a Saturday. Yeah, I'm open. So she's she's here while covering the shop for me. Uh, and that's also, we have another uh, class on that day. So that will be fun. What um, class is that? That is, I don't think that's you. I think that one is the crochet market bag it got moved oh, okay. so that is that's going to be a crochet class so crochet so, one and, we, and we've got the duck the chicken and the egg yep so we have that one and i think and because we're, we're supposed to do next. chicken and the egg um was supposed to be this weekend but we didn't really get, get a chance anybody. to we'll leave it up yeah we'll, we'll just start putting in more and more i'll, I'll start the coffee cup one i gotta okay. find the I've and then people the can choose i just don't have the for this month we can do this one or this one or this one this one and this one however we want progressively um, we do have a very cute make a dog sweater. Are you, did you get that yet? I haven't gotten it. I, I didn't, didn't get it either. Her. She said she was mailing it. Yeah, I didn't get it either. So I we've got a dog sweater class that's coming up and it's a good beginner class. So it's not going to be difficult. We can play with I'm different kinds of it. yarn. I know. I think I'm going to make one too for my Gussie. My Gus, the, 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 oh, oh my God. So Gus is my tangent, tangent, whoa, squirrel. So, uh, my, I had these, my little sweethearts that watch my dogs while and lizards and hedgehog while I'm gone. So they sent me this text it was like emergency and I'm like oh gosh what's going on well they I guess apparently my dog had caught a, a mouse and that's what he's bred to do so both of my I have two ratter dogs and while they do look like rat dogs they also that's what they're bred for is to catch rats and mice and stuff on you know on houses and farms in the olden days and so he caught a mouse <laughs> And he had it on the couch because he likes to carry it around like a little little trophy. Maggie that he does he's that with the lizard. Oh my god! So um, I don't think my dogs touch lizards, but they do carry this thing around. So she goes, I went to go get it, and I thought it was dead, and the thing moved its head, and the ghost went oh, and ate it. Oh, I'm like, oh my god, disgusting! She's like, I just want you to know, in case he throws up a mouse later, that we weren't doing any satanic rituals or anything bad here. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, he's so gross. Maggie just takes the stuffing out of. She just she loves stuffed animals, but only the carcasses. Well, they my, mine don't. They rip them apart. They like shred the carcasses, and no, then the stuffing is everywhere. She's like a character from from the blacklist. She takes the brain out. Yeah. She, she rips the head or the face and takes the brain. It's like, I'm going to remove your brain and then I'm going to keep you forever. Oh. And she carries the carcasses around. Yeah, you know we have no. a, we have. A cow that she divided in half. So there's two moves, like the costume, the, the button. Of, okay. And she has the unicorn that we got her like two years ago. She still carries that. It's like a kid's blanket. It's so gross and stinky. And, yeah. Ugh. Nothing nothing survives and in our house. now she's got a little blue dog that she ate its face off the other day. <laughs> and we got her a, 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 a steer with the horns. Uh -huh. And she's slowly taking the brains out of that no, one. No, mine, mine and and doesn't. Also carry and if there's a squeaker, I mean, it has to die. And it has to die within 30 oh, seconds. Oh, yeah, yeah, she takes out the and, squeaker. And uh, mine are like, this is indestructible. A Kong? Oh, I know. A Kong? I know, we, 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 we time it. Let's time uh, it. This is indestructible? Yeah, no. I, I mean, if it makes it a minute with my with my dogs, I'm like, well, we did that. But she's like that. She doesn't like dog beds either. Oh, no, mine, mine no, destroy the dog she, beds. Yep. Yep, mine I destroy tried, the dog I beds. She takes the stuffing out. Yep. So it's like, fine. Mine has to have a blanket because otherwise, and the other day oh, I yeah, came in blankets. and she's, he's, he's unfrayed the edge of the blanket. It was just a stitch, you know, just a simple stitch at the end. And he's got all of it in his, like, in his 
I'm like, you're lucky you didn't suffocate yourself. She loves blankets. Yep. She, we have well, one. That's, she, lays she loves your yarn. She loves your yarn. Floor. So, no, yeah, mine would no. destroy it. And then they, they, they do this weird, like, thing on it. I'm like, ah, don't. Yeah, she doesn't they're, they're creepy little dogs. But, but she would make a great horror character. I'm going to remove your brain now. Yeah. And then you will be mine forever. And I will carry you around and love you. And nobody's allowed that's to not, pet you. That's not creepy at all. No, so that's Maggie. And on that nice and uplifting note, we have entertained you hopefully, hopefully well, and that you're enjoying us. And thank you for our support. And if this is something that you're enjoying, please share it because it's hard to get the word out. Just me. Just me. I need some help, people. Help well, share my name. I try. I know you do. You're very I, good. You're my biggest supporter, and I appreciate and love you. So thank you so much for joining us. Next week, we will be back. We're going to show you progress on this. I hopefully have some new yarns coming in, and, um, you know, we'll just continue with uh, random stories new about yarns. No, new yarns and new um, new yarns, new year, see new where me. we're going with our, with our yeah, progress. Yeah, we don't know. I'm yeah. going with my sweater. Yep. And, you know, and then... That'll be next week. Mm -hmm. The week after. And then the road Friday trip. after that, we decided, because we're going to be in Oxford, Mississippi, that we'll do it on Thursday night and just tape it for you, because we're going to do it from a bar. Now, hold on. Hold on. I don't know if we can tape it for you. We may do, have to do it live and then well, that's what share I that. Okay, because I'll we'll do it live. She's and asked. Then she's share. gone above my pay grade for the IT okay. level. Well, so we'll do it live, yeah. and we're going to pick a nice, good place to do it. In and we're going to do shots. We're going to do shots and oh, record I don't know our about shots. We'll have to walk. <laughs> I, I think we're very close to the town square, so we can walk. We'll home. walk and have a couple drinks and do our broadcast. So we can look forward to that, and or we'll show be afraid you, of we'll that. We'll show you Oxford. Okay, we'll give you a walking tour of Oxford, and probably some cooler clothes that we can wear. So. Uh, because it's going to be colder than here. Not that much. Okay, this good. week it's in like the 55, okay, so we'll not take that, that bad. We'll take that. Yeah. All right, have a great week. Stay out of trouble. Call, reach out to come us again. Us. Come see us. Come visit us if you're in the area, and uh, we love to spend some time with you. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a fabulous week. Take care. Bye. How many did you have?